everybody it's a beautiful day welcome back to the platform i am right here at gray city phase three and we're here to take an update you know we're all about sharing um, our projects with you guys giving you transparency updating you on every single thing that we're doing across our various developments yes this is a brie aman from we told you that we're starting the green park right here at gray city phase three as well as the perimeter fence wall and the last time that I came here, I saw the demarcations, I saw, you know, the walkway demarcations and the first one wasn't up to this height. I'm seeing so many changes and the picture is so clear right now. And we're going to have our Director of Engineers, Mr. Desmond Entry, to speak on the updates that we have currently. Hello, sir. I love the way you always scream, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's always exciting to be on site. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I see so much happening right now. Yeah, there's a lot happening and um, we're trying to work with the timelines. Mm -hmm. um, just like I explained the last time, yeah. um, we will be gradually getting to the end of the year. Exactly. And the uh, plan is uh, for us to be able to complete, have some greens uh, before the end of the year. Yeah. So. There's a whole lot at stake and we want to even start planting as soon as possible. Wow. So uh, let me take you through, first of all, the fence wall. The fence wall, all right. So let's let's move to the fence wall. Yes, please. It's um, so much higher. Exactly. It's high and we had to put um, a tie beam okay. because of the height uh, that the wall had to go. So when we say a tie beam, you can see concrete at mm -hmm. the middle yes. uh, portion. So that's what exactly we have done what's its function so its function is to hold the pillars together okay so it's a it's a beam holding two, uh, two pillars, pillars or two columns together okay so that's what we have done the wall is flying mm -hmm. you look at the other side as well yeah the wall is we are just moving and we're hoping to complete in record time that is amazing. and again the next time you'll be here you will see that we will, we are actually going to commence the security post itself you're okay. going to that will start be work, right there the right box. there at the front you're okay. going to start working on the security post as well okay that is wonderful i see some boardings on the other side yes. i believe there are provisions for the column absolutely it's for and the it columns we are casting the columns the and we are going all the way okay wow that is amazing you did mention in our previous episode that the driveway into the development will be a, two, a dual carriage absolutely okay and then it's a this, dual carriage uh -huh. and then right in front of the green park yeah it's actually going to be a three lane okay reason being that if i'm coming to the green park mm -hmm. and perhaps i i want to drive in here yeah i want to have a place to park mm -hmm. because the, obviously i don't want to park in the middle of the of the road yes so we, we made it a three-way lane okay so that two cars can still drive in, in and out while the third yeah. ones have cars a parking okay lot. That is interesting. That's actually very convenient so that if people are coming specifically not to, you know, go into the development, they're coming into the green park, they can still park, have access to everything, and it will not conflict with people that are trying to get into their home. Absolutely. Wow. Now, let me speak a bit about the green park. A okay. lot of work went into the green park. Mm -hmm. So you see where we are, this is actually a walkway. Right. And all our walkways are quite uh, lengthy mm -hmm. this walkway is going to hit the, the the wall over there okay then it's going to divert they are all connected right now what happens is that in the morning you can wake up around five mm -hmm. get here yeah and do your jogging okay without using the streets okay so you can jog all around the walkway yeah about three or four of you can do it without interfering with any right anything because these are, are quite spacious. Yeah, spacious you did mention that it can take two people we are two here already time. yeah we are able to walk on it comfortably so, yeah so so that's how it is and then we have a circular design at the very middle i see that which is able to so we are, we are going to have stone gardens okay there'll be rock gardens that uh, we, are, we are we are looking at over here okay there's going to be seats in the green so all the space that you're seeing here yeah. is green the other space is green right. we don't want so much we don't want it to we don't want to turn it into a concrete jungle yeah so we are very minimal when it comes to the concrete that we have to use okay. here it's just for the walkways for the walkways and that's it and, everything and else will be green will be green and there's another thing we are doing now we are going to create hedges especially okay. for the front part of the green park mm -hmm. if you come here with children and you want them to play around there will be an, an area that will leave for 
and uh, uh, entry mm -hmm. now you don't want your kids to run onto the street exactly so you can have them there whilst as adults mm -hmm. you'll be having your chit chat yeah. and you know your children are equally You're safe as well right so a lot of work went into this safety uh having an eco-friendly environment yeah making sure even the trees are going to plant here yeah. they are going to be friendly to the community as well okay wow that is so amazing i like the fact that we are prioritizing safety as well so that you know people don't have to come here and they are so worried about their children this is like a friendly spot for everybody family single people you can all come in and have an amazing time Absolutely. that is quite interesting you did mention to me that the green park is sitting on two acres yes that two is acres. huge it's a huge land and if wow you see as we go in then it's spreading down here it's a huge land that was uh, allocated yeah for this particular phase that's very commendable because i don't think i know a lot of you know real estate companies that would readily dedicate such a huge you know acreage of land just for green park just for you know adding value or adding something to their development can and i shock you Please shock me more. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually not the only green park at Fistory. It's not? No. We have another green park again at the middle of Fistory. And okay. that is a full plot. 0 wow. 0.16 of an acre. We have dedicated that for a green park as well. In the middle. That will be inside the development. Exactly. So you don't have to have everyone coming in here. Yeah. There are some people who can just go there, mm -hmm. relax, uh, cool off, yeah. and do whatever they want to do. You're giving people options. You're Absolutely. giving your clients options. And that is, uh, it's, 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 it's amazing, really. And also to talk of the fact that we always tell people that this is an eco, you know, friendly environment, sustainable living. We really encourage that here. So the greenery is a big part of the development. We've had a lot of comments that are coming in. Uh, the greens, we want the greens, we want the greens. So I think this particular initiative just speaks to it all. And you're actually going to start seeing the, the greens very soon. Yeah. Um, at least in the next two episodes, mm -hmm. because what we want to do now is to uh, finish up with the concrete. Yeah. Uh, because it's a, it's a huge park, um, we, we, we have to use a lot of um, concrete. Mm -hmm. And the concrete we're doing now, we're equally going to have a finishing on top of it. Right. So that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, a whole lot is going into it. And again, you would want to have a sustainable. Uh, park. Right. We don't want a park where within two years the concrete are falling off. Yeah. So it is high in water cement ratio, yeah. just like you are seeing with the uh, fence wall mm -hmm. that we are doing. Yeah. So there's a, a lot of investment that is going on. Yeah. And not only that, we are also looking at using the best skilled workers that we yeah. have yeah. for us to be able to ensure we are giving the very best. Everybody on site is a Royal Cinnamon worker. Absolutely. I'm fully uh, taken on this project. Everybody working here is from Royal Cinnamon. And, and there, there, there's something we do. We save our workers from right. masons to laborers to architects mm -hmm. to structural engineers yeah. to coin surveyors. Everybody in the value chain, yeah. we ensure that we have been able to save and we have gotten the best quality. Mm -hmm. Because we, don't, we, we, we want to always bring the best to our clients. Exactly. We want them to feel relaxed mm -hmm. whenever they entrust us to do something for them. And so with a project like this, where we are the ones engineering, mm -hmm. we bring nothing but the best form of engineering. You can see the design concept. Yeah. You can see what is going on. We have done the first uh, fill. Mm -hmm. Over here, you can see we didn't fill it to the, the brim. Yeah. Because we are now going to fill it with black soil. Okay. After that, we are going to make sure we have manure. And we are doing organic manure. Okay. We're not adding fertilizers whatsoever. Organic Everything manure. Yeah. So that we are able to get the best. And we are also going to create or, or plant carpet grass. Okay. Which means that when we come here, you should be able to even sit on the on the grass. And again, we are going to create seats in okay. here. Yeah. So that when we have shady trees, mm -hmm. we are able to sit and sit comfortably, uh, relax, uh, take a nap, yeah. read a book, Read. do whatever you want to do here. That is wonderful. The place is just supposed to be friendly yeah. for everybody. It's I can't even wrap my head around it. Like I can picture it 
like in its completion stage i can see people around it's it's, it's going to be mind-blowing really and i think we touched on this in our previous episode but just for transparency for people watching um our platform for the first time when it comes to maintaining this uh particular section what are some of the works that we've put uh towards that okay so first off, there are other things that are going to come here, mm -hmm. and I want to touch on them. Mm -hmm. There is going to be pipes that will be flying very soon for the purposes of irrigation. Okay. And uh, we already have a borehole that is going to push the water mm -hmm. to every part of the park for yeah. it to be able to water mm -hmm. and keep the, 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 the grains green. Yeah. So what we have done is that we are not saying anybody in the development should pay for water. Mm -hmm. All we need to do is just to put on the pump and it will just be... It'll, it'll, uh, to just be uh, water, water the whole place. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, we will just get a mower mm -hmm. and we have securities there. We should just have them. In fact, sometimes for, for all of us, when we don't have anything doing mm -hmm. on a weekend, yeah. we can just come they use the More the mower to just, yeah. to just law, uh, mow the lawns. Let's keep it clean. It's for all of us. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. for, for those ones, and, and let me also touch on this. Mm -hmm. We actually going to hand over okay. to the home owners forum. Yeah, the property owners. But sorry, the property owners forum. Yeah. So they are the ones who are going to manage this going forward. Okay. For us, we want to finish everything, finish the security post, mm -hmm. and one of the things we are gearing towards is that once everything is completed, we know we will have one in, one entrance mm -hmm. in, one entrance out, which means that again. We are taking security very, very important. Yeah, I see. That is wonderful. I think we have a lot of clarity on that front. The next time that I come here, I know that I will see a lot of changes and then we'll have more updates for them. So this whole section, we are going to pour the concrete. Concrete all over this all place. All over. We are going to have uh, 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 lights as well. Lights? Exactly. Okay. There's going to be garden lights as well. Right. So that in the evenings you can still be able to lit up. Yeah. Because you don't you don't want a situation where and and I'll I'll tell you something beautiful that okay. we are going to do. Maybe I should keep it but <laughs> please give us an exclusive. <laughs> what is gonna happen is that all these things I'm gonna show you where we are going to keep it at a security post. Okay. But for now I'll be silent on it. Mm -hmm. These are all engineering stuff we yeah. normally want to showcase. There mm -hmm. are things that uh, ideally one want to keep but yeah. we want to showcase to the world. Right. So we're gonna show you how best we manage space. We don't mm -hmm. want some of these things within the space where the securities are even going to be. It's going to be at an excluded place, right. but within the uh, security post okay. itself. Okay. And I will equally mention going forward, mm -hmm. some of the things we are going to be doing there. We are going to go very organic. Okay. The security post will be finished with wood. Oh. Yes, with wood, treated wood. Treated wood. Exactly. So the whole thing is going to be a wooden structure? No. Just for the finishing? I will, I will give you updates. Ah, I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm very, very curious. Because I already had a picture in mind, but the wooden factor just is changing a few things for me. All right. Yeah. So when should so, I come back for so, that? So we are going to be, I think, we are showcasing mm -hmm. a bit of the security post yeah. now for the whole world to see yeah and what you're actually seeing in the design mm -hmm. is actually what you are going to implement wow so there's so there's supposed to be something we call cladding mm -hmm. yeah the cladding is a finish that we are going to give to yeah. the whole post mm -hmm. and the way you, you are seeing it yeah um, that's exactly what we are going to do the roof is quite wide mm -hmm. There is going to be a bit of timbering in there okay. there is going to be a bit of ceiling in there spotlights mm -hmm. and all uh, just gear yourself up hmm. and there's a whole lot coming i personally cannot wait and he has highlighted it all for us with rke what you see is what you get so do stay um glued to the platform we have so much more coming like the video share it subscribe and you know we'll always come here to give you updates share the good news with your friends your family if you haven't seen the plot oh please before we go <laughs> Before we go, I know phase three is almost sold out. I have clients that are still rushing. Are there any preparations for phase four? Today is Thursday. Yes. By Monday, we should have phase four rolling. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. That is amazing. So I know most of you really want to be part of the picture. We have so many properties. 
just hold on. We'll start the demarcation. We'll share the layouts with you. Come and buy 50 plots for all we <laughs> We are here for you and all of it. So yeah, do stay tuned. We'll be back with more content. Yeah.